El Chino, Sinaloa Cartel's highest ranking hitman. El Chino, the highest ranking hitman, started out just being a common man with privileged life and ended up having one of the highest kill counts in one of the most significant cartels. Jose Rodrigo Arachiga Gamboa, also known as El Chino Anthrax, was a Mexican drug kingpin, expert bounty hunter, and a high ranking fellow of the Sinaloa Cartel, a criminal organization based in Sinaloa. He was a founding member of Los Antrax, an equipped enforcement gang that guarded Sinaloa cartel leader Ismael El Mayo Zambada and his sons on December 30th, 2013. He was arrested at Amsterdam airport Schiphol in the Netherlands at the request of the United States. How was he arrested? What was his actual crime? What did he actually do? Let's explore all these questions in this video. Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa also known as El Chino Antrax, was born on June 15, 1980, in Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. Until 2008, Arechiga Gamboa worked for the Sinaloa cartel as a bodyguard for Vincente Zambada Niebla, son of Ismael El Mayo Zambada. After the Sinaloa organization and the Beltran Leva cartel split that year, he formed Los Antrax, an armed squadron of the Sinaloa cartel for providing armed security services to El Mayo Zambada. On November 4, 2008, an armed commando opened fire at a car wash in Culiacan, nearly killing him. Los Antrax lost one of its members in the attack, Alfredo Vizcara Vega, the son of a Sinaloa police commander. During the shootout, Arechiga Gamboa reportedly escaped unharmed. Following Zambada Niebla's arrest in March 2009, the drug lord rose to the top of the Sinaloa cartel due to his friendship with one of El Mayo's Zambada's sons. He was then assigned to supervise the plaza, turf of Culiacan. Los Antrax's headquarters and the city where the Zambada family allegedly resided. Arechiga Gamboa was wanted by the US government and was charged in a federal court in San Diego, California, with trafficking methamphetamines, cocaine, and marijuana. According to the charge, he conspired with others to bring 500 grams of methamphetamine and 5 kilograms of cocaine into the United States. The investigation, which began in late 2011, was part of Operation Narcopolo in which federal agents intercepted several phone calls between Arechiga Gamboa and drug traffickers in the San Diego Tijuana area between March and October 2012. The investigation also included the testimony of arrested smugglers, drugs and money seized, and photographs incriminating them. Between 2011 and 2013, the drug lord lived in Los Cabos, Baja California, Sur, and led Los Antrax against the local criminal organization Los Zetas on October 18, 2013, while in Los Cabos, Arechiga Gamboa allegedly ordered the murder of Francisco Rafael Arejano Felix, a former Tijuana cartel leader. According to the PGR, the motive may have stemmed from Arejano Felix's involvement in money laundering activities, as well as a message from Los Antrax indicating that they were in charge of organized crime in Los Cabos. Authorities in Baja California have identified two possible drug lord murderers. Noe Castro, alias R1, Arechiga Gamboa's right-hand man in Los Cabos, and a man known as R13. On 3rd January 2014, the Netherlands Ministry of Security and Justice and the Mexican Embassy in the country confirmed that on 30th December 2013, a 33-year-old Mexican citizen was arrested by Dutch police as he arrived from Latin America at Amsterdam Airport, Schiphol, in the Netherlands using a false name. Initially, authorities did not provide any information about the detainee's identity, but an anonymous US federal agent and Mexican local newspaper leaked information to the media, revealing that the man was, in fact, Arechiga Gamboa. The detention of the drug lord was announced officially by the US government later that day. According to authorities, Arechiga Gamboa traveled under the alias Norberto Sicairos Garca. At the time of his arrest, he had an iPhone 5, a Blackberry Bold, three plane tickets, Visa, and Mastercard credit cards from Banamex and a Mexican driver's license. He was taken to the Vert Maximum Security Prison after his arrest. Despite the fact that Arechiga Gamboa had used a false name to travel, undergone plastic surgery to change his appearance, and altered his fingerprints, US law enforcement was able to identify him using unspecified forensic methods. On January 2nd, 2014, he appeared before a judge who spoke with him about his situation and the reasons for his arrest. The Dutch authorities confirmed that the drug lord was apprehended at the request of the US government which had contacted Interpol to assist them in apprehending the drug lord on drug trafficking charges. They made no contact with Mexican officials. The next day, the United States District Court for the Southern District of California requested an extradition request to bring the drug lord to trial in the United States. On January 8, 2014, the US Department of Treasury sanctioned the drug lord under the Foreign Narcotics Kingpin Designation Act. 
freezing any assets he may have had in the US and effectively prohibiting US citizens from conducting financial or commercial transactions with him. According to the document, Arachiga Gamboa, in addition to working for drug lord El Mayo Zambada, coordinated logistics and drug transportations for El Chapo Guzman and collaborated with Gonzalo Inzunza, another Sinaloa cartel high-ranking enforcer who was killed in Sonora in December 2013. The drug lords for whom he worked had previously been sanctioned by the United States government under the Kingpin Act in 2001, 2002, 2009 and 2011. On May 14, 2014, an official spokesperson for a court in Harlem told the press that the U.S. requests to extradite Arachiga Gamboa was scheduled to be defined by May 29, 2014. On May 28, 2014, a Dutch court granted extradition to the United States. El Chino Antrax's defense, who was not present at the hearing, was allowed by law to appeal the decision. A process that could have taken months. Yuriana Castillo Torres his potential mate was reportedly kidnapped by armed men on her way to her vehicle after leaving a gym in Culiacan, Sinaloa, on May 6, 2014. Her body was discovered the next day at 6.45 by Mexican law enforcement in a vacant lot in Culiacan, Lomas de Guadalupe neighborhood, and was confirmed to be hers by her family members at the forensic installations. According to post-mortem reports, Castillo Torres was tortured, received several blows to the head, and had her hands and legs tied with an electric cable. She was brutally killed. On July 10, 2014, he was extradited from Amsterdam to the United States, where he arrived at San Diego International Airport at around 2 p.m. Surrounded by DEA and U.S. Marshals, when he arrived, he was arrested and booked on drug-related charges. He was scheduled to be arraigned on such charges the following day. He pleaded not guilty to the drug charges against him the next day and was held without bail after U.S. Magistrate Mitchell D. Dembin determined he was a public threat capable of fleeing to Mexico if released. Before entering the courtroom, those present had to go through a second metal detector and pat down. A group of women, allegedly family members of Arechiga Gamboa, sat in one of the courtroom's middle rows, according to one of the case's attorneys. They, like Arechiga Gamboa's defense, declined to comment on the case. Arachiga Gamboa was locked up at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in San Diego following his court appearance and was scheduled to appear in court again on August 22, 2014, for a motion hearing before federal judges Dana Makoto Sabra. He returned to court on the morning of August 21, 2014, for a 20-minute hearing after the defense requested a time extension due to the overwhelming amount of evidence presented by the prosecution. The United States District Court for the Southern District of California declared it a complex case. According to court records, the DEA has documents proving that Arechiga Gamboa was involved in at least 50 drug trafficking shipments between Mexico and the United States. His next court appearance was set for November 21, 2014. However, on that date, the hearing was postponed to March 6, 2015, after his attorney requested more time in court to evaluate the evidence against his client. Unlike in previous court sessions, Arachiga Gamboa's family members were not present. On March 20th, 2015, he pleaded guilty and admitted to participating in cocaine and marijuana shipments from Mexico to the United States, as well as facilitating violent activities for the Sinaloa cartel. Arachiga was sentenced to seven years and three months in federal prison after being detained in the United States for six years. He was then released and placed under house arrest on March 3rd, 2020. His probation office reported him missing on May 9th. Rodrigo, his sister, and her husband were in the house of the night on May 14, 2020, when they were visited by a Sinaloa cartel hit squad, resulting in a fierce firefight with Chino firing back with an automatic assault rifle. This fire lasted until dawn, at which point they surrendered and were taken hostage by armed men. The following day, police in Ayune, Sinaloa, discovered a black SUV with three dead bodies inside, one of which was later identified as Jose de Rodrigo Archiga Gamboa. He was shot and wrapped in cloth, with his head covered by a black plastic bag. His sister and her husband were identified as the other two bodies. His assassination was later reported to have been ordered by senior Sinaloa cartel leaders. With this, we would like to end this video, with the hope that you liked and enjoyed it. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video, and do share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us, and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Until then, Peace.